All right, I'd like to talk about square roots. Square roots have a funny little symbol. It looks kind of like a division sign, but it's not. It's got this pokey end out here, and it's called a radical. So the four is under the radical, and all that a square root means is I need to find some number that when I multiply it times itself, it gives me four. Well, because two times two equals four, the square root of four is two. Um, and then for the square root of 9, I need some number that when I multiply it times itself, it's 9. Well, that's 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 25 would be 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. And the square root of 100 would be 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. So you'll notice that square roots are the opposite of exponents. If I have 2 to the second power, that means 2 times 2, or 4, undoes, if you will, the, the square root. Okay, in this case, it is 3 squared, or 3 times 3 equals 9. Down here would be 5 squared, or 5 times 5 equals 25, and down here 10 squared, because 10 times 10 equals 100. So square roots, just looking for some number that when you multiply it times itself, gives you whatever number is underneath the radical. Radical is that funny looking um, division symbol, but it's not a division symbol, it's a radical.